Hey, it's Sarah and welcome to my second video. I wanted to start a little series on my channel called Chat GBT versus Me. To kick off the series, today we'll be comparing a cover letter that Chat GBT wrote versus a cover letter that I wrote for an actual job position that I applied to. Now, how important are writing cover letters for jobs? This is actually something I'm still trying to figure out. For large companies, I really don't think that it is that important. I feel like large companies have a hard time even reading through your resumes. I don't really think they have time to read a cover letter. Now for a small to mid-sized company, I think the importance of cover letters really varies. Now I do think that it shows that you're willing to put in the extra step to personalize something for the company to show really why you wanna work there. Right now, I try to write a cover letter for every job I apply to, whether it's big or small, because since my process really only takes me 10 minutes to write a cover letter. Anyways, ChatGPT has been causing waves over the internet. On Reddit, people are really torn between if they like it or they don't like it. Some people are terrified and think that it's gonna take all your software dev jobs. And then other people are really living it up and using it to write their OAs which is a behavior I don't condone. Personally, I think that it can allow us to do more meaningful and exciting coding. Just imagine if we have AI just find all the silly little bugs that we have, like if a button doesn't work, it will allow us to allocate more time to developing more interesting and exciting code. So now we're onto the fun part. We're gonna be making ChatGBT write a cover letter for me. So let's see what we can learn and what we can improve on our own cover letters. So first I asked it to write a simple cover letter for a software developer position. It gave me a very general template, but honestly, it's a good basis on how you might wanna structure a cover letter. So first it gives a little intro about your role and a little background about yourself. Then it goes into the experience you have and the skills that you can offer. And finally, you add a little bow on the top about how excited you are for the opportunity to work there. This was obviously just the skeletons of the cover letter, so I added in a job description. This is an actual intern position that's open right now at Unity. And you can see that they're asking for someone who's pursuing a bachelor's with C, Java, Python, etc. experience. Also, knowledge about data structures and algorithms, and some soft team working technical skills. You can see here that ChatGPT added a new paragraph that shows your interest in Unity and also game development. The last step, I just put in my resume and it gave me this. So if we look here, it took my relevant work experience and inserted it into the middle of the cover letter. I find it kind of interesting that it didn't use any of my technical projects which is actually a good thing because my resume didn't have technical projects that use the languages that they were looking for. This is actually something I probably need to be updating in my resume for every job that I apply to. Now let's see the actual cover letter that I use when I apply to this position at Unity. In my first paragraph, I always like to highlight why I wanna work at this place. This is probably the only part that differs between one cover letter to the next. I spent maybe about five minutes tops looking at the company description and also the job description so I can write a little blurb about why I wanna work there in a more personalized way. It might help to include something about why their product or their service is of interest to you specifically and why you would love to work on that product or service. So here I wrote that I love playing video games and by video games, I mean Animal Crossing and iPhone word games like Cody Cross. I'm actually super, super bad at video games. I think, I'm, I don't think I know. I'm in like the lowest standard deviation for Mario Kart, like I, I'm always the slowest person. I don't, I don't know how it's possible. And then I wrote how I love to learn about the design process and also the technologies involved in the design process. For the final part of the first paragraph, I highlight the skills that I can offer. That's kind of a thesis statement for the rest of 
the cover letter. In the next paragraph, I talk about my past intern experience. This is basically my resume, but just a little bit more enhanced. I talk a little bit more about what I did and also that what I learned from this experience. This is obviously something that ChatGPT cannot include because they didn't do my internship. And so obviously they don't have this information to draw on. It could really only pull from the bullet points in the resume. If we look at the next paragraph, there's that's also something that ChatGPT could not write because I didn't even include this information in my resume. Something that I've been doing is writing a few example paragraphs, one for Java, one for Python, one for C, one for SQL. These paragraphs just highlight a project that you've done and also your knowledge about that language or that skill. Since the job description calls for any one of these languages, I just chose SQL and I used a SQL project that I did. So I write, I used that template paragraph that I already have and I just pasted it into the cover letter that I've write, written. In the second last paragraph, I talk about some soft skills and these are like team working or communication. And I feel like you can really talk about any experience that you have. It doesn't really have to be technical. Here I wrote about a club that I started. And the last paragraph is just a wrap up and just some contact information of how you can reach me. So can I use ChatGPT for cover letters? Now looking at these two cover letters, I would say that it's probably not sufficient to replace my current cover letter with the ChatGPT one, but there are definitely some things here that you could use to get some ideas from. You can definitely use it to get some ideas about your first paragraph where you talk about the company specifically. Pop in the co company description and the job description and can kind of save you some time on this first paragraph. The rest of the cover letter really doesn't vary too much between job to job. So I really, really recommend making a Rolodex of kind of the technical skills that you have for the, each paragraph so that when a job description asks for Java, you can use a Java paragraph and put it into your cover letter. And that way you don't end up spending that much time rewriting cover letters because you already have the paragraphs written already. You can personalize your cover letters without rewriting entire cover letters for every job. Also, if you're writing your very first cover letter and you don't know where to start, ChatGPT could be a very easy way to get a template, just the skeletons and get an idea of how you wanna format your cover letter. That's all for my ChatGBT versus me cover letter edition. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it fun. Like this video and leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Bye.